What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 16th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use multiple methods and also something called instance variables when working with classes. So let's go ahead and open up our tune class and clear anything out if you have anything in there. And let's go ahead and the first thing I want to do is make a new variable called private string and just put girl name because we're going to be making a program in the tutorial to output the name of our first girlfriend. So the first thing you probably notice is instead of public I put private and this is because when you're working with classes right now we have two types of variables public and private. Public variables any class can use that variable but when you use a private variable only the methods inside this class can use it so the methods that we're about to build can manipulate and change and also access this variable if we were in another class like this one over here it couldn't use this variable in this class so private means private inside this class only the methods can use it inside this class so let's go ahead and make some methods the first method that I want to make is public void set name and what this is going to do is set the name of whatever we put into it into the variable girl name. So of course we need a parameter string name. So now we have two variables name and girl name. So let's go ahead and add some instruction for this method. We're going to put girl name is equal to name. And that's all. That's all we need for this method. And what this is going to do is this. Whenever we use this method in our main program, whatever we put in for the argument for this method, all it's going to do is make sure girl name is equal to name. So it's pretty much just putting girl name equal to whatever you typed in. Next, let's go ahead and make a method to access that. So let's go ahead and put public string. And this is the return type. Let me show you guys in a second. Again, we know public means access anywhere. The second thing after this is return type. And whatever your method does, it may or may not return something. This method is going to return a string. So that's why we need to put string. And if your method returns nothing, go ahead and put void. So now let's go ahead in our method body. Let's go put return girl name. That's all. All it does is return girl name, which was made up here. Next, let's go ahead and make one last method. Public void saying and this is going to be our final output to the user so all we need to put here is system out print f and this is a new type of print if I didn't teach you before what it does is take something like your um, make sure I'm spelling everything right your first girlfriend was percent s and whenever we use percent s it, it needs to know um, what string do I want to put in place of this? Well, we have a perfectly fine string right here in our get name. So let's go ahead and oh, I won't copy that. I won't be too lazy. Get name. So it's going to say your first girlfriend was in whatever girl name is as defined up here. That's what it's going to output. You'll see what it does later. But for now, let's go over to your apples one. Make sure you import your scanner and make a tune object so we can access that class. And now let's go ahead and just put a basic prompt on the screen so we can tell the user what to do. System out print line and what were we gonna print? Uh, just print print something like enter name of first girlfriend here. Just any prompt will do, just uh, so we're not lost, so the user actually knows what to do. And after that, go ahead and we need to make a temporary variable. So we need to put string temp. You can name yours whatever you want. I just name my temp for fun. Input, and this is where we use our scanner variable. Next line with empty parameters. And again, whatever the user types in as their answer, it's going to be stored in the variable temp. So that's what this line does. This is just a prompt. This takes whatever they enter and stores it in the variable temp right there. Next, we need to do something with this. So let's go ahead and use our tuna object and we need that to access set name. And of course the parameters for this is going to be that temporary variable temp. So what it's going to do is take the name that they entered 
and set it equal to girl name right here. It's going to take it, which is name, set it equal to girl name. Now we need to do one last thing. Now that we got that name equal to girl name, all we need to do is do tuna object dot saying with empty parameters. And what this does is use the tuna object saying. What is this, you may ask? The saying just outputs on the screen. Um, your first girlfriend was, and it's going to be whatever they typed in for the name. So let's go ahead and run this, see if I got any errors. And I don't, so let's go ahead and enter the name of your first girlfriend. Mine was Kelsey. Go ahead and press enter. And it says, your first GF was Kelsey. Stands for girlfriend. She was a babe. So let me tell you guys what this does one last time. Import scanner, we know what all this stuff does. Enter your name. What this does is allow us to enter a name and it's going to store it in that variable called temp. And what the next line does right here is say, all right, in your class tuna, take that variable temp and use it in the set name method. So now it takes that variable named temp, which was Kelsey, and stores it as girl name. So now girl name equals Kelsey. So it says, all right, now what? Well, next I want you to just use the saying method in the class tuna. So it says, all right, we know that girl name is equal to Kelsey now. So now we can use that saying, what you told us to do right here, and just your first girlfriend was Kelsey. And again, if you don't know what printf does, then uh, check out my C tutorials and I go over this. Uh, this is the common uh, print function in the language C. Also, uh, you can use it in Java, but this is just another way to print, so don't let it confuse you. So that is how you use um, instance variables and multiple methods. So again, you can use multiple methods in the same class. And don't forget, whenever you have a variable that's outside a method, again, it's outside of these, but it's inside this entire class, it's called an instance variable. So that's where I get that name from. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. I hope you understand at least a little bit of it. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out my next tutorial. I promise I'll be clearing this up for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next tutorial.